and it's currently produced in 30 languages, including Russian, where a triple word score can be as much as 400 points. This weekend, 70 Scrabble Supremos have been battling it out to see who will be the Grand National Scrabble Champion for 1996. And defending his title is Mike Willis. You've got to know all the words. Um, it's, it's, uh, it does help to, uh, uh, to use a certain amount of strategy as well. You've got to be very, uh, very careful about how you use the words and make the best, uh, uh, best use you can of the, uh, of the rubbish you get sometimes. The finalists qualified at one of five regional finals around the country. And by this evening, one of them will walk away with a solid gold Scrabble set and that coveted title. The silence was deafening as each of the 70 finalists picked their first seven letters. The two finalists will eventually battle it out to see who will outscrabble the other and become champion. Scrabble's popularity makes it the world's leading game, and this year it celebrates its 65th anniversary. But if you're thinking of becoming a national champion, then what you'll need is one of these, a Scrabble dictionary, and a certain word that will guarantee you a win, like Kazik's, which is worth 392 points. This is Andrew Wigmore for Channel One at the National Scrabble Championships, Regent's Park, and that's worth 126 points.